to the channel. Today we're going to do a split screen animation tutorial or a how-to video. And um, this comes, so I want to say a few months ago I did a basic split screen tutorial and uh, it's a pretty popular video, at least as far as my channel goes, which, you know, it's not saying much. Um, but I recently um, partook in the TMS Productions 2020, 2020 Edit Challenge. And um, this is basically, so TMS Productions, great YouTube channel, go check them out. Um, they recently did a Range Rover commercial, and after the fact, they provided that footage out to the public to then take and edit their own commercial as part of this challenge. My entry, uh, which you can see up here, is very heavily reliant on uh, split screen animation, and I got a lot of feedback saying, hey, that's kind of cool. How do we do that? So here's how you do it. Um, this footage here is from Cannon Beach, Oregon, uh, another video I did a while ago, I think over a year ago now. Um, and I'm just going to, for the example, I'm just going to do two clips. You can do as many clips as you want. Uh, but the first things first, what you need to do is go to your effects tab, type in crop, drag that crop effect to both the clips or however many clips you are doing uh, for this. Once you got that done, we're going to go to the first clip. And here's the thing about animation. Um, what I want to do is have this clip be the only clip in, up until this point in time. So right here, I'm going to set some keyframes. I'm going to set one for position, one for left, and one for right under the crop effect. And this will allow me to adjust what I see uh, in the middle. So until this point in time, this is the only thing that's going to be on the video is just this walking up the beach and then starting to pan up. Uh, oh, little tip, use these arrows to jump between keyframes to help you get specifically where you want to be. So here we are. Uh, we're going to move ahead a few frames. Let's say 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That might be even too many. And we're going to drop another keyframe into these positions. Coming back down to crop, we're going to adjust this and I could just slide this whole thing over and so this next clip would fill up the left hand side of the screen. However, and I'd only be seeing half a haystack rock and that's why everybody wants to go to Cannon Beach. So what I want to do is kind of frame this up and you can do that by either using your slider here to adjust the percentages on left and right. You can type in a specific number or what I tend to do is just highlight the crop effect, grab the handle and have a go at it. And here you can see that okay there it is there's haystack rock and all its magnificent beauty so we're gonna go back to this keyframe here so we're good there but obviously I, I don't want black on both sides of this I want this to be adjusted all the way to the side so at this point I am gonna use the I'm gonna try I'm gonna use the slider here to adjust it so we're gonna move this over <laughs> over a little bit more there we go and now we have our first animation. So we come back here, we're gonna hit play, and you can see the animation kick in. Voila, there it is. So now we want to use the second clip. So we're gonna stack it on top of here, but first I'm gonna go back to the very first keyframe because that is going to be a key for us. So I'm gonna overlap this a little bit. Here, I want this whole image uh, to start off the screen and since it's going to be coming from this way, I'm going to move it the opposite direction. So just off the screen. And that is where we're going to put our first keyframe here. Now, in this case, you can also adjust left and right um, to get this, this frame up the image. Now, I think once we kind of get it back into play, it's going to be fine, um, but we'll see. So we're going to jump back to the first video and we're going to move to the next keyframe. So that's where this is. So this is where basically we need to say, hey, this second image, it needs to fill this space here. And so we know we're on that, uh, where that next keyframe is on the other clip. So we're going to do some keyframes here. So we put in the position one, which we'll adjust in a second. I'm also going to do left and right um, just in case. Now, if we do need to make some adjustments, we're actually going to have to go back um, to this keyframe spot and add in some, but again, I'm not sure if we'll need to right now. So here we are. I'm just gonna start sliding this out to get it to wherever I want. And you can use whatever you want from a border standpoint. So I like it about there. 
and she is hanging off the side of the screen, so we might want to adjust that, but let's see what it looks like right now. So we're going to hit play, walking up the beach, starting to pan up, we move over, and we've got Haystack Rock on one side and half of my seven-year-old on the other side. So we are going to do some adjustments here. So with this clip selected, that's the important part, we're going to go back here, whoops, back here, and we're going to use the crop tool again. And we're going to start making these adjustments. So I want to shrink up this side a bit, and then that's going to allow me to reposition this where she's more in the middle. So let's see how that looks. And there she is. So that is about as quick as I can do this. Um, what I will say is if you want to add a third one in, you would just kind of repeat the steps from the second one. Obviously, if you wanted this one to be in the middle, you would have to play around with the left and right some more. Um, excuse me, the left and right here some more for the middle one. And then when the right one comes in, you're going to be doing the same thing you just did on the second one. Or excuse me, <laughs> when the last one or the one on the left in this situation comes in, you're going to use the same thing there. So that is it. That is the tutorial on uh, how to do a motion when it comes to split screens. I hope you enjoyed. If you plan on using this in any of your um, videos, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to check them out. And if you have any other questions or you want to see any other videos from me, please just let me know. I appreciate your time and I hope you have a good one. Thank you.